Hey YouTube followers, uh, this is Ohm. So this might be one of my last uh, Fummins updates here with this uh, 12 valve in my Super Duty. So where do we start at? So what you're looking at is the air conditioning hose that I'm going to finally install after three years. And uh, you don't have to pay the high prices of these conversion places. What you're looking at here this is a so the bottom half of this hose is from a common rail, a 2004, uh, 25, 30, 500, you know, Cummins. This is a pressure switch. Ford pressure switch drops right in. Took the hose, I clipped it off here, which is a Dodge end. Took it into my local Pertech shop. He soldered in the front end of the Ford hose. He crimped in the bottom end of the other end of the Ford hose. And I'm going to drop this in. Um, I had it running before, but my crimp that I created failed. And I'm going to say the hose cost me $28 and this labor was $40. Another update I've got is that HE351 down there. It works wonderful. Um, airbox. Uh, this is an airbox out of a 6.4. As you can see, it fits in there pretty nicely. I highly recommend it. Um, I did the whole filter in the engine compartment thing and I was sucking in hot air. With the air box, my EGTs are actually down about 40 degrees. Um, the other update, so that's my Cummins or Chrysler alternator. I did the one wire conversion on it and I think it was $50 on the internet. Uh, my lights don't pulse anymore. So I'll see if I can find the part number and post that up. Uh, that's a biggie. I've seen that I've tried the different regulators from uh, Ford and Dodge and my lights still pulsed. Coming over here would be a big one. This is a cruise control servo from the Ford Explorer. I'm going to say 98 to 2000 came off of V8. And I will put up the wiring for that in the comments box here because uh, I've got cruise control down there for this Fummins and it works off the horn switches now this is gonna this is working on a 99 I would assume up to 03 but you can check but the cruise control is super easy to wire in the ABS controller is right underneath that plastic cover right there you just need one wire off that you will need to tap in to the power wire over here. This is a backup in case your power brake light switch fails. Um, hopefully I can get this intake cleaned up but I just put a new thermostat in. The Cummins thermostat in, in there would uh, let it go up to 195. Um, I got replaced with a Napa thermostat and I'm back down to 170s, 180 if I'm pulling. Um, if you have any questions ask. Like I said this might be one of my last posts. This AC hose being one of the last items to hook up, um, finally giving in to the wife. Okay.